Xbox Elite controller. I finally got it in the mail. So let's do a little opening here. First, let's look over the box. It's a nice, sturdy piece of cardboard. Any homeless person would probably, this is like trading material for a homeless person. The box, not, not, the, not what's inside. Just talks about optimize for any game. Reassign buttons and tweak sensitivity in each controller profile you create. X experience. Nothing really, just tells you what comes in it. Includes Xbox Elite controller with 3.5 millimeter stereo head jack. Wow. Interchangeable D-pads. I do like that. Interchangeable thumbsticks, three sets. You get three sets of thumbsticks. You get two sets of D-pad. You get um, two sets of paddles, these little dildo looking things. You get a carrying case. Ooh. You get uh, two batteries and a USB cable. And as you can see here, it works on Xbox One, Windows 7, 8.1, and 10. The thing is, I've actually heard the Elite has a lot of trouble running on Windows 7, which I actually have. So. That might be a problem. I'm taking off the uh, little sticker things right now. These little things. Because it peel right off without tearing the fucking box. And this might be a box I like to keep. I don't know. Depends on how much it falls apart after I open it. It might just... Man, those come off so well. How do we even open this? Oh, you just pull off. So you just... Huh? One sticker I forgot. So the whole thing comes off. Kind of like a shoe box, I guess. But with a bigger lid. Whoa! <laughs> There it is. So this is the presentation you get. This is the inside of that. Nothing's in there. It just, it's just there. Bam. So the box is kind of cool. It feels like there's more in this box. Here's the case. Let's do a, put it under the light. Give it a little unzip a -roo. Oh, actually. Let's look at the zipper real fast. This is a nice zipper. It's a leather. It's not leather. It's a it's a fabric zip. I've never seen that. Like the actual. Oh, it's because it's protected. Excuse moi. Yeah, I know I'm flinging it around. But this is gonna be my this is gonna be my controller. You know, so kind of it has to get ready for the battle damage. It really does. And this is what it looks like inside. Do a little bit of focusing. Very slick presentation. Oh my god. It's kind of a cool deep bed. So this is what I'm sad about. This thing would have been perfect with Street Fighter V. There's the paddle shifters. There's the D-pad. I'm just looking at everything because everything's pretty nice. Oh, it has a little green button instead now. Actually, you know what? You know what would be really fun? I have a uh, Xbox Day One controller we can do a legitimate comparison with. Legitimate. L I legitimate. Oh shit. All right. So, let's set this side by side here. Now, this is a place to next to a day one controller. As you can see, it's kind of filthy. I don't really play it 
with this controller much because I don't like it. So the biggest difference here is that this has an audio jack. Plus, this one doesn't have an audio jack. Which is very frustrating. The sticks are shut. This doesn't have a green button either. The day one doesn't have a green button. See? So there's a small comparison. Let's show what comes in the box. Or the, uh, the case here. So you got these little joysticks. Let's take a good look at this joysticks here. I thought that was metal at first, but it's not. It's just plastic. It's kind of like a C stick for the uh, GC controller. So there's that. There's that. I'm bringing out what comes with it. Here are the other sticks right here. It's a very thick plastic. And then you have the D-pad. I kind of wish these were, I don't know, I kind of wish they were metal. And that's everything it comes with that is extra. Everything else is already on here to take off the paddle shifters. I guess it would be safe to take them off before traveling. I'm not sure. But, let's go back to the box here. Got the uh, day one, or the day one next to it. The day one's out of the picture now. It also has something else, which I'm not sure what it is. It's the, um, as you can see right in the uh, crank right here. It's a switch actually, it switches from one to two. I don't know if you're setting your player or what. It's weird though. The day one does not have that. So, let's see what else is in here. Looks like this is the cord. Let's see what kind of cord this thing comes with. Oh, that has a nice cord. Actually, is this micro USB? I'm gonna have to use this for everything, even my PS4 controller. I've been looking for a really good, this looks like a six footer. These are like nylon coated. Man, these are really nice. So these are the Xbox court. If you could buy more of these, I will. All right, so get that. Nice little recharge cord here. Looks like you just plug it straight into the, um, top up here to recharge you would just do a little one two I did it back or upside down boom now it might look flush someone needs to redesign these micro micro USBs because they're irritating all right see how it's flush that's good but is it flush right there no and that's honestly one of my biggest pet peeves. I want it to be flush. There is crud that could get up there. There is a ton of stuff. And that's just an open fucking, look at that, just an open connection. I don't like that. And it's actually worse on the PS4 controller. I'll give you guys a gander. So PS4, when they designed theirs, let's check this out. You see that slant right there? Okay, unplugging this is actually really hard. <sighs> okay, all right. So we got this, right? And it uses the same fucking charger. Flush as hell right there. <laughs> Check this out. That open, I don't, 
I don't like that. This has caused me a lot of problems. I can't even use the PS4 controller with the the PC anymore because of this. It just pisses me off. Just make it flush, man. Just make it flush. Just make it a little bit more slanted. That's all you have to do. Anyways, that's my rant of my complaint. I'm sorry. So let's see what else we have here. I got the, I guess these are the, oh, quick start guide. It came in this nice little portfolio for this. The Xbox quick start guide. Basically it tells you what's in it. Tells you everything that's interchangeable. Oh, it's a profile switch. That middle thing is a profile switch. So you can only hold two profiles on here, it looks like, with safe settings. I kind of like that. I just, I don't understand, where's the rechargeable batteries? Pay $150 for something that doesn't have rechargeable batteries? What the fuck, man? So you gave me, actually, where are the batteries? Did they already come in here? This didn't come with batteries. Unless they're hidden. All right, let's look around a little bit more. Maybe I missed them. Yeah, they're here. There you go. $150, and they give you two fucking Duracells. They can't even give you a fucking recharge pack. Yeah. Pathetic. So. Warranty. Product manual. <sighs> Nothing. Nothing really tells you how to put your batteries in, tells you how to sync it, tells you how to paddle, disable, and enable. It says, quickly, double press bind button dis to disable paddle functionality. It said to quickly double press the bind button to enable functionality. One long vibration will confirm paddles are enabled. So that's what that green button is. It's to sync and it's to disable and unable Disable and re-enable the fucking paddles. Here's how to take them off. Rotate paddle 90 degrees and pull straight out to remove. Oh, okay. D-pad's pretty easy to remove. Sticks look pretty easy to remove. Hair trigger locks, huh? It says when the hair trigger locks are off, triggers have full movement. Okay. When hair trigger locks are on, triggers have reduced movement. So you can reduce the trigger movement. And this just talks about pro uh, profiles. And then it talks about the application you'll need. And that is the Xbox Elite controller. Hope you enjoyed. Here's a, another look real fast. Let's get it under the light. And we're done.